guys, today we are going to one of the best places in the world to look at full leaves. We are going to get in our park, we are gonna go apple picking, we're gonna do a bunch of fun fall stuff because this is a little fall day in the life vlog. Anyway, Jake and I are dying to get going. I'm really excited, dying for a coffee, but I just want to show you my outfit before we left. Okay, so I'm just wearing this pair of jeans. These are my go-to at the minute. They're from Mango. And then I'm just wearing this basic black t-shirt. This is also a favorite. It's from Cotton On, which is an Australian brand. And I got it back when I was in Australia. I wish we had Cotton On in Canada so I could get more of them. Then to pull the fit together, it is just a pretty basic black fit. I have this really cute jacket from Uniqlo. And that is the fit. This jacket is so cute. I wanna make sure to get lots of cute pics while I'm out. And Jake, what are you wearing? Flannel from Uniqlo. Where's the top from? I think that's also Uniqlo. Uniqlo, Gap jeans. And I think we both look quite cute and autumnal. <laughs> All right, let's go. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I get a medium pumpkin spice latte with almond milk? That's all, thank you. All right, 7.40, come on up. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. This year always got it with almond milk because they're quite like a intense sweet drink so i think having it with almond milk makes it like the perfect level of sweetness and like intenseness how are you good driver i pretend they're not and then wonder why the outcome's not what i planned for oh because lately i tend to answer with maybe it's coming disheveled than last time we spoke because we just hiked Mount King and we kind of saw it and it said it was a difficult hike and I'm definitely not like a big hiker and so we were like we'll go as far as we want enjoy the leaves and see if we want to go a bit further and we ended up doing the whole thing the footage I got is incredible I got some insane photos and it was just an incredible experience it was so good and Jake and I are starving now we are about to go to Chelsea pub as you can see we're just pulling into the car park it's so pretty here so we were just next to here at Biscotti um, before we went and now we're gonna go to the pub I've never been before but I'm pretty sure they have pretty good veggie options and yeah starving and excited for lunch We just finished getting lunch at Chelsea Pub. It was super busy, but it cleared up a bit because it's like, um, what time is it? Like 3.30 now? So we ate lunch a bit later. Oh, there's that dog from the pub. <laughs> so good. I've never been to Chelsea Pub before, but if you're in the Ottawa Chelsea area, you definitely need to check <laughs> Oh my God. What? You definitely need to check it out. It is so cozy and the food was incredible. And also I got a mocktail and the cocktails looked really good and Jake got a lager, which was really nice. We're gonna head back home, well, near home. And I don't know exactly what the plan is, but we're gonna go apple picking. And I feel like usually we just do one thing a day, but this is like an ultimate full day. We're going to mountain orchards. We're gonna get some nice hot apple cider. We are so toasty and warm inside the car. It is really nice and chilly and just our perfect weather outside and I can still see all the leaves, they are incredible. So we're 
we're at the farm where we're apple picking right now. We found a corn maze. We went in. No idea where we are. Just corn. It's been three hours. <laughs> Just corn and a lot of dead ends, but we're having fun. leaving the apple orchard now the sounders are back of apples if you're in ottawa or the ottawa area mountain orchards is so incredibly fun it was yeah just incredible it's actually quite close to we're in like barhaven area and oh wow it's sunny it is such a gorgeous area around here it is so pretty anyway i'm hungry again i'm ready to make some nice cozy dinner at home i'm already getting ready to make some i think apple crumble or apple crisp with these apples and i want to try making apple butter i also don't want to grab it because i don't want to drop it while i'm holding my camera and the people that work there were just so lovely and kind and yeah it's been a perfect full day today so we're back at home today has been crazy we have done so much we saw a black bear on the way home. I have not seen a black bear since we were in Banff and I think because it's autumn, it's end of the season before hibernation. They may be getting a little bit further out of their normal areas to look for food, but that was crazy. Uh, I couldn't believe it. We also saw a porcupine today in Gatnell Park and I've never seen one of those in the wild. It was so beautiful and I just love going out into nature and especially seeing all the animals. I'm eyeing up those Amazon packages over there. Let's see what's in it. I can already feel some of the stuff that's in here and I just remembered some of the stuff I ordered and I'm very excited. Wildfire by Hannah Grace. This just came out a few days ago and I ordered it during Amazon Prime Day so it was a little bit on sale and I'm so excited to read this. Also to have a Hannah Grace book in paperback. I am so excited. I've seen this on Amazon and like TikTok over the years a bunch but I've never needed them. But living in Ottawa, I thought I might pick up some of those tights where they're like thermal tights but they look like they're kind of like normal see-through tights. So I picked up a pair. I've got a pair that was footless because I read on a lot of them that the feet were really small. Like I said, I'm gonna go get cozy for the evening and make some dinner later. Mm -hmm. 